Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, February 10th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Man, I can't wait for you to hear this local business spotlight. I'm not sure when it's going to drop, but yesterday I went and spoke with Gerardo Martinez, who started the most amazing company ever, Wild Kid Acres in Edgewater. You definitely want to check them out at wildkidacres.org and be sure to look for this podcast soon when it drops. This is one you don't want to miss. All right, there is a lot of news today, so let's get into it, shall we? To lead off this morning, there's a little bit of an update on that Crofton police-involved shooting last month. While the Attorney General's office has yet to release the body cam videos, they did release the names of the man who was shot and the officer. You will recall the woman called the police because her son assaulted her. She asked police to break in. When they found the son, he initially complied and then began to struggle. He injured an officer who ultimately fired his weapon and killed him. The officer has been identified as first initial J. Last name Ritchie, R-I-C-C-I, and he is a three-year veteran of the Anne Arundel County Police Department and prior to that had eight years with D.C. Metro. The deceased has been identified as Deonta Quarles, who was a 20-year-old and lived at that address on Danville Court. While the law about having the AG investigate is still rather new, in prior incidents, the camera footage had been released a lot sooner. However, the law does say within 14 days of the incident, barring any specific reasons not to. So there are still a few days left. If you live in the city of Annapolis, and particularly in Ward 2, this is for you. Your elected representatives on the city council may be changing. The city is redrawing ward maps, and the most affected ward will be Ward 2. The changes are not terribly drastic, but you should be aware. There are three maps under consideration, and they are available in person from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the Pitt Moyer Rec Center through February 16th or on the city's website. If you have an opinion on this, there is a public hearing on the 16th at the Rec Center at 7 p.m. You can attend in person, or you can also submit testimony online via the form on the city's website or by sending an email to boards at annapolis.gov. If you prefer snail mail, 160 Duke of Gloucester Street, Annapolis, 21401. You want to put it to the attention of Hillary Raftovich, and you can probably just put Hillary R, and it will get to her. If you'd like a little bit more money in your pocket, here's some information for you. Applications for the 2022 Homeowners and Renters Tax Credit Program are now being accepted. We have a bunch of links in the article on ionanapolis.net, so that's probably the best place to go and look. But last year, it saved Marylanders $64 million. bucks. It's based on income and calculated on your tax bill versus your income. Similarly, for renters, those that pay a higher proportion of rent to their income, looking at you, Annapolis, there is a direct payment as opposed to a tax credit. Last year, the average of those who qualified received $1,500 in tax credits, and the renters who qualified got a $446 on average check. So, not chump change at all. Again, you want to head to ionanapolis.net and check it out and see if you might qualify. And tonight, the Annapolis Maritime Museum and Park rolls on with their winter lecture series. It is virtual again this year, and the cost is only $10, but included for no cost with a membership. Up this week at 7 p.m. is Vince Leggett, and he is the founder of Blacks of the Chesapeake and a really fascinating guy. He'll be discussing the Blacks of the Chesapeake's campaign to preserve the legacy of Elktonia, Cars, and Sparrows beaches. Now, if you don't know what Cars and Sparrows Beach were, you definitely need to tune into this. Amaritime.org is where you need to go to get your tickets or buy a membership. And I understand summer camp registration is open as well. What you can't buy are tickets to the oyster roast and sock burning. Because, well, as John Candy said to Chevy Chase in National Lampoon's Vacation. Sorry, folks. The moose out front should have told you. 
And as we wrap it up on this Saturday on the Local Business Spotlight, it is Jeremy Chelius and the Eastport-based October Contracting. And listen to some of the upcoming ones we've got. SOFO, Fence and Dex Connection, Wild Kid Acres, Liquor Martin Deli, Chesapeake Youth Symphony Orchestra, Snap Fitness, Unity Gardens, and the Junior League of Annapolis. But you want to keep sending me suggestions of any organization or business that should be spotlighted? Info at IonAnnapolis.net is the email address or a DM on Twitter at IonAnnapolis. And that's it for the news today. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's daily news brief, Rehab to Perform, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. It is Thursday, so we have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace here with your Maker Minutes. And of course, George from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. And I do have to apologize because I've got this frog in my throat. I'm sounding like Peter Brady. All of that gets underway in just a bit, so... Hang tight. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, February 10th. Yesterday brought even nicer conditions to the Annapolis region with max sunshine and highs around 50 degrees, and it'll get even better today through Saturday before we do a 180 right back into wintertime conditions starting Sunday. Look for more sunshine today and tomorrow with breezy highs each day in the low to mid 50s to be followed by more sunshine and upper 50s to maybe low or mid 60s in spots on Saturday ahead of much colder air returning to Anne Arundel County Sunday through early next week, with highs only in the mid-30s or so Sunday, along with a chance of snow as well, in a setup that's eerily similar to what we experienced already in early January, with temps in the 60s on January 2nd, followed by 30s, and a snowstorm the very next day on the 3rd. The jury is definitely still out on this weekend's potential snowstorm, so stay tuned over the next couple of days as this next potential winter weather maker sorts itself out. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, as well as through our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. With all the talk of energy resilience in the news recently, I'm surprised there's not more talk about solar plus batteries, especially since one-third of all of our new residential solar projects include a battery backup system that provides instant energy security and peace of mind. And with incentives in place for battery backup, this investment is now more affordable than ever. With financing rates as low as 0.99% and plans offering 18 months same as cash, it's now easier than ever to go solar with no money down. Financing creates an easy bill swap scenario where you replace your electric bill with a loan payment, allowing you to build equity in your own personal energy supply. Don't wait for your next power outage to act. Contact us today at 410-923-6090 or visit us at solarsaves.net to learn more about solar with battery backup. Don't wait another minute. Sunshine's a waste. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. 
Are you an active adult or competitive athlete dealing with an injury keeping you from being at your best? Then Rehab to Perform is here to get you back to your full potential. R2P is a unique fitness-focused physical therapy company with four locations in Maryland. More like a training room and a personal training studio than a medical facility. R2P offers physical therapy for lower back pain, overuse injuries, post-surgery, muscle pulls, chronic pain, and more. R2P also offers rehabilitation for concussions and mild traumatic brain injuries. To learn more, visit rehab perform.com every week makers crafters and educators hold events all over the area highlighting some of those here's our maker minutes brought to you by annapolis makerspace hey this is trevor from annapolis makerspace with this week's maker minutes wolf at the wharf and edgewater has a couple more paint nights coming up today there's a team spirit paint night paint your pet with some team spirit added just in time for the big game and on Monday, there's a Valentine's Day Paint Your Pet. Knits and Pieces off of Bestgate Road has a few classes coming up. Saturday, they have Toft Crochet Animals. And on Monday, they're doing Learn to Knit a Gambit Cardi Sweater. And registration is open for their Fixing Your Mistakes class later in February. And their advanced beginner knitting and unraveling Ravelry classes coming up in March. At the Willow Oak Flower and Herb Farm in Severn, tomorrow through Monday, they're doing a Valentine's Flower Bar where you can make your own Valentine's bouquet and arrangements. At Whole Foods in Annapolis, today their Half Pint Kids Club is doing Fresh Fruit Pops, and on Tuesday their Half Pint Kids Club is doing Sweetheart Pancakes. At Art Farm in Annapolis, tomorrow they have another sketch night, not a drawing class, just a fun social hangout with a live model. Saturday they have their Make It Kids Watercolor Valentine's Day Workshop as well as the David Hayes Sculpture Workshop for Teens. And their winter semester continues this week. Today, there's teen photography. Saturday, there's beginner painting for kids. Monday, there's kids' fundamentals of drawing. Then later on Monday, there's nude figure drawing. Tuesday, there's graphic design for ages 12 through 17. And Wednesday, there's a 3D sculpture class. And registration is open for their other winter semester classes starting in February and running into March, which include botanical drawing and winter landscape workshops. At the Benjamin Vanderker Museum in Park in Ellicott City, Saturday, there's maple sugaring, learn maple tree identification, and simple tapping techniques, as well as the boiling process for making your own maple syrup and sugar. Also on Saturday, there's the Fans of Benjamin Banneker Astronomy Club. Then on Sunday, there's Before Chocolate, Learn the History of Chocolate, How It Goes from the Cacao Plant to a Chocolate Box, and then Make Some for Your Valentine. And then on Wednesday, check out their Nature Tots. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, today there's an online charcuterie and cheese boards 101 class. Tomorrow, Discoveries of the Library at the Mall has a pre-K art party. Severn has a mobile tech help clinic. And Bush Annapolis Library has Build Your Own Bath Bomb. Saturday, the Eastport Annapolis Neck Library has a Crafternoon. Bush Annapolis Library has Artivism. Maryland City has Valentine Storytime and Craft. And Discoveries has a second Saturday service project. On Monday in Odenton, check out their monthly mixed media with potato printing. And then on Tuesday, Discoveries has Seasonal Babies Craft. Eastport Annapolis Neck has a Mad Hatter's Knitting Club. Deal has their Paint Night as well as Soko Knits, with both an afternoon and evening session. Broadneck has their Broadneck Needle Crafters. Brooklyn Park has a Crafternoon. And Rivera Beach has Craft and Chat. And at unallocated space this week, tonight they have a virtual happy hour. Saturday they have Broken Hearts and Damaged Parts. The Maryland Area Combat Robotics Group is hosting a 3D printed ant weight or one pound robot combat event. And then on Monday they have a project night. If you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart of the Christy Neidhart team from Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. One of the most common questions we get, how do I maximize the value of my home before I sell it? It's a great question. We look at improvements like investments. What is the rate of return? For example, if we invest $5,000 in painting kitchen cabinets and installing granite, how much more will our home sell for? The answer, about $25,000 more. That's a 500% return on investment. Because of returns like this, we have started a program called Investing in You. We know cash is often tight when you're making a move, and we are here to help. We will front you up to $15,000 to invest in refreshing your home before you list it, with the agreement to be paid back once your home settles. Call us today so we can help you maximize your home's value. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Ion Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.